Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Slime City Massacre, which is the sequel to the 1988 film Slime City that I also spoke about earlier today. And uh, it, again, it's the Blu-ray from Alternative Cinema, I believe I got it from, for 1999. Both movies on one disc. And um, this film came out in 2010. The main premise of the film is this couple is looking for a place to stay. They're homeless. Uh, a dirty bomb has went off, and the film feels very post-apocalyptic. And the couple finds this building and this other couple, and they start staying with them. And they are looking for food and drink, and they come across the wine from the first film, which, tur which turns them into those, like, slime monster hosts. And they start changing, and they start becoming violent. And uh, meanwhile, there's a real estate tycoon named Ronald Crump that is taking over the building and looking to purchase it and throw them out and put a fresh cone of paint on this trashy garbage building in the middle of this wasteland and sell it for a high market value. Um, it's many years after the first film. They do try to tie the first film in in a lot of ways by showing you what would be characters from the first film and story from the first film that leads into this and the main actor and actress from the first film are in this movie but they're obviously much older though the main actress uh she aged quite well if i do say so so the story really revolves around this homeless camp and then this other guy uh ronald crump looking to take over the buildings and and they're sort of clashing and fighting and there's gore and the um the people are melting and there's one point where Debbie Rashawn from Troma fame is, uh, she's one of the couples, one of the people in the couples. She's like laying in a pool of muck and like melting and she looks like she's laying in sort of a tub of SpaghettiOs. Um, they definitely tried to tie it into the first film. It's directed by the original director, uh, what's his name? I want to say it's Greg something. Gregory Lamberson. Um... It definitely doesn't feel as grungy or low budget as the original movie. It looks very clean and crisp. Um, obviously, it's like high def compared to the old movie, which had scratches and audio hissing and all that. So that sort of detracted from it for me because it feels more like a recent B movie as opposed to like old, grungy, sleazy New York City. It didn't feel that way in this film at all. Uh, what else did I make notes about here? The. The flashbacks in the film pertain to a character from the first movie that is... I don't really want to say it and spoil it, but the story from the first film as to why the wine is turning the people into these sludge monsters is present in this film and it's continuing into the present. And that's the gist of it. I don't really want to say too much. Um, Lloyd Kaufman's at the beginning of the film, whether he had an involvement or he was just you know a quick actor in it, because maybe he was friends with the creator or something, I don't know. But this definitely has that trauma overtone to it, but again, feels very uh, apocalyptic. It can feel a little try-hard, and the story feels a little messy at points, but I did enjoy it, not as much as the first movie. The first movie has, again, a sleazier, grungier New York City 80s feeling. This doesn't feel that way, really. Um, but I did like it. It's It's okay. The first one is really what you would purchase this for, in my opinion. The second one's just kind of a, an intrigue. Like, wow, they, they made a sequel in 2010 for a 1988 movie? Hmm. So, that was kind of cool. Um, the end song, which was kind of funny, when the credits start rolling, mentions basket, pay, basket Case, Street Trash, and The Toxic Avenger. So, again, some kind of link to Troma. I don't know if the original film had a, a Troma release at one point or... Maybe this has some kind of backing or production through Troma. Um, but overall, it's a it's a fun little film. You kind of have to see the first one to really flesh it out. I, I think if you just went into the second one, you really wouldn't care. But if you saw the first one, you'd have a little bit more of an attachment and that nostalgia factor kind of feeding into the second film. So definitely see the first one. I like that one a lot. It's fun. It's cheesy. If you like street trash, if you like body melt, the second one is all right. But if you saw the first one, you may as well watch the second one because it's on the disc. Let me know, guys, if you've seen Slime City Massacre and what you thought of it. Thanks for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe.
Be good.